If you're an audio engineer who wants to run tracks and you have an X32 console and Ableton Live, I wanna show you how you can use your X32 as a MIDI controller to control and run tracks with Ableton Live. Now, I just wrapped up my how to use X32 with Ableton Live course, and in it, I talk about how to connect to your X32 for audio and MIDI, how to control your X32 with Ableton, but what was really fun is I talk about how to control Ableton with your X32. Now, if you wanna get access to the full course, click the link in the description of this video to become a From Studio to stage student, but I like you and I want to give you access to one of the lessons from that course where I show you how you can control Ableton Live with your X32, just like your X32 is a giant MIDI controller. But in order to do that, you got to do something for me. I'll wait for a moment, but hit subscribe to the channel. I, I said, I'll wait, I'll wait. Okay, now that you've done that, hit the bell icon because I post a new video, a new tutorial every single day at 10 a.m. Central. I don't want you to miss it and it's awesome content like this. So now let's dive in and I'm gonna share the full lesson from my brand new course. Okay, so the next way I wanna talk about controlling Ableton Live from the X32 is using the assign controls on the physical surface. Now, this is um, something I missed at first. Uh, when I was first looking at the console uh, and I'm trying to figure out, I was reading the manual actually, and I'm trying to figure out what the heck are they talking about? This, these encoders and these buttons can send MIDI. I, I was just so confused. Uh, and then I looked at the console again and I went, oh yeah, okay. Uh, Cause I had always seen this section as a section that I could assign to control different things on the X32 when I've used it in the past to mix with. Um, I never thought of it as a, uh, a bank of notes that could be MIDI controllers in live. So you could literally set up play, stop, previous, and next uh, on your X32 to control your X32, um, uh, control Ableton Live from your X32. So your X32 could be a glorified MIDI controller. You still have access to the full console to mix with. And just over to the right, you got play, stop, previous, next. You can adjust faders, whatever you want to. So let's dive in and let's take a look at using the assignable controls in the X32 to to send MIDI commands to control Ableton Live. Okay, so let's talk about how to assign and use uh, these buttons here, set them up as MIDI uh, to control Ableton Live. So first thing I'm gonna do, I've got uh, the USB connection set up on this console. And I'm gonna go to setup, and then we're gonna go over to the remote tab here. And we're gonna use this button to make sure this is set to card MIDI. In this case, that's enabled and we're good to go. Uh, we're going to deal with transmit, so we're going to go ahead and just enable every single possible MIDI uh, information that it could transmit, um, and we're good to go there. Now, let's go over to Ableton Live. We go to Preferences. We're going to go to Link Tempo MIDI. Uh, this time, we're going to go on the inside for XUSB. We want to be able to send MIDI to Live's tracks, but most importantly, we want to send MIDI uh, remotely control live using XUSB. Uh, so let's get out of this now and let's talk about how to make our assignments to this assign section here. So this is an older X32 console, um, but I believe this is uh, somewhat similar on all the newer ones, uh, just looks way better and way more updated. So I'm going to press view here and then that's going to change my screen. And I essentially have three different preset modes here. So if you look at set, we have A, we have B, and then we have C. Uh, it looks like on this particular console, A is being used, B is being used. So I'm gonna change C uh, and I'm gonna use it to send MIDI information. So you could see when you go in here, uh, we can go and say, okay, uh, let's use page select. So there's page select. Let's use that to change uh, to what set we want, okay? Uh, we're gonna use set C again, because it hasn't been assigned. And I wanna say, okay, what, uh, first off, what control do I want to uh, start working with? I'm gonna start with uh, button button five here, okay? Uh, and you can see button five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, so uh, 12. So those are my buttons I'm working with. So in this case, let's go to button five, target type, we're gonna use this assign, and we're gonna do MIDI. Uh, and let's do MIDI push. Okay, I could do toggle if it was something like turn metronome on off or whatever, but we're gonna do MIDI push. What message do we wanna do? We'll do note, we'll say channel one. What value, let's just make it easy and leave it at zero, okay? So now let's go here, let's do button six. We're just gonna set up four of these. Okay, MIDI push, note, channel one, value one, okay? Seven, same thing, MIDI push, value is two, we'll assign it. Uh, eight, 
push, and then value of three. So we set up four of these, okay? Um, we could choose our color over here, it looks like, uh, if we wanna do that, but uh, let's try this now. So what I'm gonna do is go into live, and let's MIDI map, and so we'll do command M, and let's set this up to where we have play, stop, previous, and next. So I'm gonna click on play here. You can see play is clicked on there. Then we'll go to button five, let's press button five, and you'll see that's assigned over in Ableton, play, okay? So let's do stop now. We'll click play over in Ableton, then we'll press six, which is now assigned to stop, okay? And click previous locator, seven, all right? So that's assigned right there. And then eight, press eight, and that's a sign there. So now what's really cool about this is I can use my X32 to press play, all right? Let's use it to press stop, okay? Let's press play again, and let's jump through our locators. Okay, and so we could literally navigate uh, previous and next through Ableton Live, press play, press stop, um, and do all of that from our X32, which is pretty amazing.